Now, we were one of the first to receive the Kitty X Max 3, and this was a pre-release version, and we thought that it had great potential. Uh, we just recently received the Kitty Max 3 X3, and this is the final production version that if you are interested in picking up the X Max 3, you're looking for a fast printer. But what I would say is on the industrial side, being able to handle, we, we're talking about tough materials, then this is going to be the printer that you'll want to look at. It's fast, it's accurate, and it also delivers great quality. Now, it's not going to have an AMS like you may see with some of the other solutions, uh, but in my case, as we're printing parts that are for our Etsy store or for use, uh, let's say, that are more functional parts, this is a great printer. Let's check and see what's changed because there's been some changes that have taken place, and we'll see why you'd want to consider this printer. Now, we were in contact with Kitty, and we actually had our original version actually updated. We did a lot of the updates, and we brought it up to where it's close enough to the production version from a firmware perspective and also from a nozzle perspective that gives us, again, the ability to do a really good comparison. Now, uh, a couple things that you'll notice, and we're going to point out something, and I'll just pan right here to the back. Uh, you'll see in a couple seconds that uh, there's been changes made uh, to the actual fan area right here or the extractor right, that's right here. You'll also notice that for the most part, as you look at the side fan right here, there's a cooling fan right there on the side. That fan still exists. And what you'll notice also is that there's a slight change, not a significant change when it comes to cable management, but in the inside of this printer, you'll notice that there's really not a lot of insulation. You'll see that there's just uh, plastic on each side. Um, you'll get kind of like the same feeling. For me, the biggest change that took place is going to be uh, here when it comes to the uh, actual uh, print head, the mounting of the BL Touch it used to be in the back and now it's on the side. And then what you'll also find is that the linear rails also look a little different. Now here you'll see the linear rails for the original. And you can see what it looks like right here. And you'll notice that I did something here. I actually, since I've updated this to the modern or, or current production version of the print head, I actually cut this the, the cover off a little bit so that I can move the BL Touch from the back to the side. So this is what uh, it would look like in the current version as well. Now the bed is the same, so you'll see that the bed looks identical. Pretty much what I saw from the bottom area, this looks pretty much the same. Now since we updated the operating system, the operating system, the version of the firmware, the fir version of Clipper are all the same. Now this is the production version or the general release version of the X Max 3, and you can just notice that the significant change that's going on right there. The fan that you have here on the side, and we'll pan over to the side, is still the same, so that hasn't changed. Uh, but what you're going to see is that the rods have changed. So you can see that they changed the rods. The rods are more durable. You can see the position of the, uh, again, the BL Touch, which we said that used to be in the back and now is on the side. Uh, so that's an also uh, another change. Now this has the most current version of the firmware. Uh, so what you'll find is that the operating system, because it has the most current version on both of them, is identical. Now one thing I wanted to mention uh, that I forgot to mention is that that motor right there in the final version is now in the middle. You can see right here what I was talking about. So that motor was on this side. Now it's right here. Now, what about print quality? Um, how do they compare? Well, let me show you. So what you have is, uh, again, these two models, and let's make sure that this guy's in focus here, are from each one of these printers. They're absolutely identical. Check this out. Quality looks the same. The filament color is obviously a little bit different. I swapped them back and, back and forth. You'll notice that even here, as we look at some of the defects, uh, here you have uh, one of the lines right here where the seams is in the same place, and it looks the same. Uh, the bottom layer looks great, right? For me, everything looks the same. We also printed some Benchies because why not? You need to print the Benchy. Uh, this is what the Benchy, we switched out the filament to this filament. You can see what it looks like. And then here's the filament on this printer. And they both look great. So this is what I'm talking about. And then again, this is at the fastest speeds that the printer is capable of printing and everything look fantastic. Now these pieces were printed one on one, one on the other, and you'll, you can see here, the quality is identical. I just wanted to see, I actually put the same filament, ran it one, first on one and then ran on the other just to see how close it would be. It's identical. Uh, we also then ran uh, uh, some other materials you saw that we ran, uh, it's kind of like this sparkle material. Uh, we said, why not? Let's go ahead and run this dragon. No supports, it came out nice. It's a Flexi Dragon, came out perfect. We also ran some carbon fiber, so we wanted to see what it would, how it would look uh, with this um, engine block and carbon fiber. So this is carbon fiber material. 
It did fantastic. You know, one of the things I really like about the Keys in general, and we have one, two, three, four of them right now just uh, in our in our farm, is that when it comes to material like this, it does extremely well. So take a look at this detail. This is like really, really good. All right? Really, really nice quality. And again, this is at the fastest possible speed. So we're trying to really push it, leveraging that five, uh, 300 millimeters per second print speed. And we're still got this kind of quality. So we kept on printing. So this is in the Kitty original or first look. And then this is in the new Kitty. Let's put them side by side. So let's switch it like this. So you can see the difference right there. No difference, right? This is because I had a scratch on the bed, so it's my fault. Pretty solid. This was on the memory stick, so this looks pretty much what you would expect coming from it. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.